News Now Sports. With no conference championship to chase as an independent program, the season goals for teams at LCC are a little different than for most schools. For the Tebers, goal number one is often a spot in the playoffs, and last fall, despite some top-end senior talent, LCC fell short of that goal. Now, with just a five-man senior class, one of whom is in his first year of football, the T-Birds are back on the hunt for the postseason. Tonight, John Rawlings takes our countdown to kickoff to LCC. Countdown to kickoff is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. The last time LCC finished with a 500 campaign was in 2008. Seven years later, the T-Birds find themselves coming off a similar season. A five and five is your is your worst year you have in a in a 10, 12 year stretch. I think your program's in pretty good shape. You know, five and five is, you know, it's obviously not where we wanted to be. We felt like you know we would make a couple plays here and there. We easily could have been seven and three. Before last year, LCC rattled off six consecutive playoff appearances, and the T-Birds would like to soar back into the postseason this year. Right when it ended last year, and we knew we weren't going to make the playoffs, it hurt. Even though that was my first year playing varsity, I knew the legacy before me. I mean, I was a ball boy for five. years years of my life than I was watching every team just go deep into the playoffs so I knew how much fun they had and I knew how much it meant to them so I really wanted to bring that into our class. Previous teams they had great athletes you can look back in the years they went deep in the playoffs every year it was just something LCC did so five and five last year missing the playoffs we just didn't get it done but hopefully this year we can come out with a good record and make a run to the playoffs see what happens. Third-year head coach Scott Palti continued the tradition of Week 11 play at LCC in year one, but changed the program's traditional offense from a wing T to a spread. Despite the graduation of All-State Special Mentions Ethan O'Connor and Nick Tafflinger, Palti will stick to the high-flying offense. It fits our personnel and it fits our talent level. We have a lot of guys who can uh, run and catch the football. You know, we're not tremendously big up front, so you know we're not going to line up and uh, knock people around in a traditional uh, eye eye offense. So you know, the spread fits us. Our kids enjoy it, and uh, you know we uh, we've had a lot of fun with it. And hopefully, we can continue to get better. LCC has a veteran playbook, but it's a young team that will be learning Palti's offense. Five seniors will lead the team with underclassmen logging quality minutes. Small senior class, it's really tough because you really got to count on your juniors and your sophomores to really step up and play. I mean, we. Even have a few freshmen that are coming out and playing varsity so you really have to get them into the game and really into a varsity mode because they've never experienced it before so to only have a few guys that have that varsity experience it's hurt it hurts but we'll be able to push through it if history repeats itself this year's team will bounce back and go on a playoff streak of their own much like they did after the five and five season in 2008 when your program makes it you know quite a few years or a stretch of time you know there's a little expectation amongst your kids we'd really like to restart that legacy of getting to the playoffs you know people before us really uh put that legacy in front of us and we slowed it down because we just didn't have you know we just had a tough schedule last year and we couldn't get it done so we're hoping that we can rebound like you said and really boost ourselves in lima john rawlings your news now sports